I feel like this might be a chill episode. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. What's up guys? So this is going to be to your attorney episode 20. We finished the Jananda arc last episode. We saw Fushi make off with Hayase on a boat and pretty much ask her what her deal is. And uh, she pretty much reiterated a lot of the stuff she's already told us and declared how she loves Fushi, but it seems like she's really just obsessed with him. It's very weird. I'm not going to lie to you. But what ends up happening is that after Fushi leaves her in the middle of the ocean stranded on the boat, uh, the knocker that we defeated ends up uh, showing up. Apparently they can swim and it shows up on the boat and we are left to believe that it has taken over Hyas' body. So yeah, that's not the last we've seen of her and I'm assuming we're going to see knocker Hyas as probably the final boss of this season. We only have not too many episodes left, like four or five after this one. Let's see what this episode is going to be about. Let's see where we're headed. Oh my god. Damn, Pierron. That shit tasty as hell. Bro, she's eating like five green beans, lima beans, and splitting them in half. That She is down bad. But Fushi has found her again, so that's good. I feel like this might be a chill episode. Wait, why can't he... Why isn't he interacting with Pierron? Is it because he doesn't want to be around her because he brings so much calamities and he draws in the knockers? This is such a tough decision for him. He has to essentially decide, do I leave her by herself and protect her from the knockers or do I stay with her and make sure she actually lives through it and watch over her while taking the risk? But then if I leave now, she'll be waiting for- Yeah, no shit! Oh my god, dumbass. Yeah, dude. I'm okay now, bye? That's it? That's so ass. That's such a bad letter. I'm okay now. Bye. What? Oh, she gone. Oh, she got kidnapped? By who? You came from Jananda, didn't you? Damn. Some xenophobes? What is this? Oh, she's... Oh, get him out of here. Oh, damn. Yo, Yo, Pierron ain't nothing to play with, bro. Don't play with Pierron, bro. Sometimes you don't realize it because she has, like, pretty much, like, a whole ass cloak on, but she is very old. Uh, Fushi has not seen, um, people die of old age yet. He hasn't seen what happens when people age and their body starts decaying and slowing down and everything that comes with just getting old in general. So this might be the first time he sees that with Pioran. And this is the person he's been with the longest so far. Pioran is the longest tenured uh, member of Fushi's uh, journey. Damn, oh yeah, I forgot he can turn into all of them now. Uroi, Upa, Mia. I killed them all? Oh no, Fushi, no you didn't, bro. Oh no. Oh, he's putting it all on himself now. Now that he has like a moment's rest to like think about everything, the conclusion that he's come to is that he killed everybody. Even though that's not the case. That's really not. Yeah, maybe him being around did bring the knockers, but someone was going to die. Who's there? Ooh. Oh, shit. Wait, she's, has she ever met Mia? Oh, she knows his wish. Aww. Aww. That's so cute, bro. I love that. I love that. Pierron just turns into a child, bro. But, like, she probably thinks of Fushi as, like, her grandson or something. Just look at how much energy she has now, now that she's back with Fushi. Huh? What is this? Does your wound still hurt? Oh, is that Hayase? Oh. Bro, that has to be high, I say, right? Hold on, Pierre. It's close. 90 years old? Yo. 90 years old and fishing like this? The knockers? Hey, yo. So now, like, it seems like they actually have a plan of action whenever, like, danger is near. But I was blessed with a grandchild. Aww. 
Oh, uh, yeah, see, literally she thinks of Fushi as a grandchild. Oh, that's so cute, bro. That's adorable. That is very heartwarming, I gotta say. Losing that noble something. Oh, no. Ah, no, this, uh, this show can't do this right now, bro. I can't. Shut up. Told you my back hurts. Damn. Fucking roasted, dude. I love the way she just yells sometimes. Oh, no, bro. Is she having Alzheimer's? Damn, bro. This is so... This is bad. This is not the way I wanted Pierron to go out. Just kill me? Damn, bro. As though this person... She is, yeah. When you get Alzheimer's, if this is indeed Alzheimer's, if I'm analyzing this correctly... Anyway, like I was saying, you lose memories, you lose your motor functions, you lose a lot. You basically just become a child again, essentially, until it completely takes over your mind and you wither away. Man, the one episode I, I said that it was going to be a chill episode turns out to be this type of episode. God damn it. I'll be right back. Oh, no. No. Oh, when he comes back, she's going to be dead, isn't she? And the fire went out. Fuck. She's dead, isn't she? Uh. Hey, you? The one falling Fushi? Wait, what? Huh? Oh, I think because Fushi told her about him, right? Fushi did tell her about him. If you care about him, do as I say. Yo. Pioran going crazy right now. Your soul is made to be a whole only when it is with your soul. Oh, so interesting. So, I guess in this universe, you can't really have the same soul and same mind that you had. Oh, damn. Dude, she is really old. Picture what you want to become? Bro. Oh, my God. Bro, I'm getting goosebumps, bro. What is... She... What is she going to turn into? Oh my god, it's young Pioran. It's young Pioran, bro. Nah, this is like the Celestial World, right? This is like her like on death's door, essentially. An orb? Whoa, what the heck was that? Whoa! What is going on? He just dropped everything he had? She's dead, yeah. God damn, dude. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Nah, man. This was the one. This. Oh my god. Several decades? What? What? Decades? Going into decades already? So everybody that we were interacting with is old now? And what the heck is that? He just fought a knocker? What? Oh my god! Oh my god! Bro! What? Bro, what? Yo, it's adult Fushi, what the f Okay, bro, that was a, wow, what, that was a great episode of Tear Eternity. So episode 20, and um, basically after coming back from Jananda, Fushi has to make the decision to either stay with Pioran or leave her so that she doesn't have to deal with any potential risk of the knockers coming around, right? Because they're gonna follow him wherever he goes. And ultimately, she makes that decision for him when she recognizes him as he's trying to sneak around her. So the way Pieron went out is unlike anything Fushi has seen before. He's seen death, he's seen people getting killed and all that prematurely, he's seen people die from injuries. 
But Piron in this case was dying from old age. This is something that Fushi really hasn't experienced or seen. It's not something that he really understood. And that's something that he had to be explained um, by the deity as well. So you could see her mind deteriorating as their travels continued. Uh, she forgot things. She was remembering things from the past that she thought were happening now. Uh, her motor functions were deteriorating. Obviously her back was bad and we found out she's actually 90 years old and Fushi's 14 so it makes sense why you know her time was coming when you're 90 years old that is a long life that is a lot so on her deathbed uh, unbeknownst to Fushi she calls out to the deity the one that is following Fushi around obviously and uh, wants to be reborn as something that can help Fushi on his travels it's a very interesting way they showed it as if she was being absorbed into an orb uh, we still really don't know what she turned into, but bro, um, adult Fushi at the end there? Wow, he looks like he is crazed. I think he just got done fighting a knocker, and um, it's been several decades. We got another huge time skip, several decades, so at least like two or three. So Fushi looks like he's about like 40-ish, I would say, and I just, I don't know where we go next. Remember, there was a time where we had a time skip before Fushi grew up a little bit. He had a little bit of a five o'clock shadow, but then he reverted back to the boy. So there is a chance he probably is going to revert back to the boy at some point, even after this time skip. But yeah, several decades have passed. A lot of the people that we interact with are probably old now. Maybe some of them even dead. I'm sure Hayase is still kicking about. We saw her in this episode, I think, uh, on the beach in the shed. So she's definitely around somewhere. But yeah, that was a great episode of Cheer Eternity. Uh, once again, rest in peace to the GOAT Piron. Uh, like I've said before, Piron has been definitely one of my favorite characters in this show. Just her attitude, her outlook on life, and definitely her demeanor, her upbeat attitude when she's around Fushi. Sometimes when she's yelling at people, it's just, it's just great. And, you know, she was able to find a grandson in Fushi and it gave her meaning in life meaning in the final stages of her life at that so shout out to Piron, rest in peace to a great one yeah man a lot of a lot of loose ends are being tied a lot of plot holes are being closed and it really does seem like we are gearing up for the final few episodes of this show <sighs> it's been a great ride but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like leave a like for Piron. let me know what you guys thought about this episode down, down in the comments you guys' predictions for adult Fushi. He looks pretty maniacal. He looks a little psychotic, so I don't know where, where his head's at, but we'll see you next episode. So follow me on Twitter, link's down in the description, and hit the sub button if you guys aren't subbed already. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.